Mug One. This is DC World, and I'm here with Academy Award winner Lindy Hemming, <laughs> creator of some great costumes that we're going to talk about in a second. And we're at the O2 London Arena, where the new DC Dawn of Superheroes is now open to the public, and it's here till September. Come down here, bring your kids, bring your family. It's absolutely amazing, guys. I'm going to now go over to Lindy and talk about some of the amazing work that's on display at this event. So, and yeah. I have to say, that the, it is the art. You nearly said the art of. I nearly did. The art of drawing, <laughs> drawing superheroes. Yeah. The art of creating superheroes. Which is where it all, all yes. starts. All yeah. starts on, on the paper. On, on the paper. And then yeah. ends up on the movies. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what first got you into the costume creating business? Woo, I'm just saying, I got into the costume creative business by uh, having gone to drama school to study stage management. And having arrived there and having begun that, for the first time really looking at what happened on stage and what the actors were wearing, and of course in drama school they were wearing whatever they you probably could find, and looking and thinking, oh, that's uh, that could be better, I could have done that, yep. you know. Um, and thinking, probably quite unfairly, how much I wished I was doing the costumes okay. that they were wearing, and then subsequently during the time I was there, began to do that. And that's where it started yeah. off yeah. from there. Oh, absolutely yeah. brilliant. Um, yeah, yeah, do you have, in the whole event, <coughs> there's a lot of costumes on display, but uh, do you have any favorite piece that's on display? Oh, loads. But I really, really like to see the um, penguin. Yeah. I hope the penguin's here. <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> yes. No, I really, really like the penguin, because it was there in Paris, I yeah. saw it in Paris. And I really like to see the other Joker, the old Joker. Mm -hmm. And I like to see it in you know, conjunction yeah. with my Joker. I think it's really interesting. Going into, you mentioned the Joker, like yeah. from the Dark Knight trilogy, he was involved with all of those. Yes, of course, yes. Absolutely amazing set yeah, of films yeah. and the costumes. Now, yeah. what we've heard today is like all the, the clown masks that are on display, yes. um, creating those, and yes. a lot of logistics behind them that you can't copyright certain clown faces. No, who did you is mean that? Is that true? No, no, no yeah. someone was telling us. Oh yeah, okay, no, it's true. <coughs> the, we're creating the clown faces and heads for the uh, Chris Nolan mm -hmm. film, was one of the hardest things at that time that I'd had to do because you cannot use an existing clown face. There has to be so many points of difference okay. between the clown faces that we made and existing clown faces. And the clown faces are in a library, a bank of clown faces, which are painted on an egg what? and put into this library. And once they've been done, they can't be repeated. They belong to the clown came up with them. Really? So there's a lot of hard work involved, there's a lot of faces <laughs> there mean, around there. Just everyone talks about copyright, but that's just the maddest copyright ever. Don't get into clowns. <laughs> no, don't get into clowns. <laughs> yeah. um, what was it? Did you do any work on the Justice League, or was it <coughs> just the Wonder Woman? No, Michael Wilkinson, the designer of the Wonder, Wonder Woman here, yeah. he is my colleague and friend, and he did the um, costumes for the Justice League and okay. Batman versus Superman. Yeah. yeah. Okay, He's coming later. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. excellent, yeah. excellent. Um, and what do you think about this event being held in London's O2? I missed it in Paris last year, yeah. uh, but now it's just the home. Absolutely oh. great venue to have it. I'm at. thrilled that it's come to London. I didn't know it was going to. And I was saying earlier, I think people should come and see it because I think that for young people who watch uh, tons and tons of comics mm -hmm. and tons and tons of videos and films, with all these characters, these superhero characters, it really would be good for them and educational and also really thrilling to come to the exhibition and read their way around and see how these characters are developed and at what time in history they came about and how young the people were, some of them who drew them and also uh, what kind of political forces sure. very, uh, were in place at the time when they were invented, these people. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why it would be very, very interesting to come to this exhibition. Not only that, but also, of course, to see lots of your heroes uh, on the walls drawn and exactly. understand that everything starts on the page, as yeah. we were saying earlier on. Everything has to be drawn before it can be produced yep, exactly. or written before it can be acted. Mm -hmm. you know? so Just that I'll ask quickly one more question. I go to a lot of comic cons and events, mm -hmm. and you've got a lot, a lot of cosplayers now. Do you yes. have any advice for the cosplayers? <laughs> some of the costumes they create now oh, they're fantastic. are brilliant. Mm -hmm. So, any advice for those, anyone watching? I think for the cosplayers, uh, ingenuity is unbelievable, mm -hmm. and they should keep on doing it. Brilliant. And it's fantastic. It's a compliment to all us mm -hmm. costume designers when you know you you read somewhere that the Joker was the yeah. most. And they're trying to get it so close to the yeah. details. It's they like work crazy. so hard, and they ex they ring you up or. 
and they ring up the people who mm -hmm. made the costumes and try to find out the exact fabrics yeah. that things are made from. No, it's a compliment. We're all complimented by you cosplay people. Brilliant. Have you heard that, guys? Yeah, yeah. yeah really. Linda, wrap yeah. it up there. That's been absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and right. get down to the event, guys, because you will love it. Trust me. Thank you very much.